Hi, my name is Asian A. Thomas. I am the Youth Assistive Technology Specialist at Michigan Disability Rights Coalition. So today I am demonstrating using switches for adaptive toys and adaptive play. So this is a switch adapted bubble dinosaur. It blows bubbles out of its mouth when someone activates the dinosaur by pressing the switch button. Switches are very useful for people that may have limited mobility um, and they can hit a button and it will activate. To use this device, we pour the bubble solution into the back of the dinosaur and then we connect this wireless transmitter. So then we can put this switch button anywhere across the room and or the person with the disability can hold it um, close to them and be able to activate the switch device um, from a distance. So you turn this on after connecting it. On screen, Asian A is pressing button to activate Bubble Maker. And it will blow out bubbles. This device is called an alternate spinner. And once again, this is a device that is um, switch adapted. So it is controlled by hitting the button on this switch. Um, the wireless transmitter is in the back of the device, back here. And it come, you put it on the back inside of here after connecting it, and then you'll cover the batteries in this. This device is great for um, those that may not be able to hold a um, die or dice and shake it and roll the dice. Um, this can make um, help you make different selections um, by pressing the button or you can also press this button right here to make a selection and it rolls the dice for you and spins um, to make that selection. So we will just press the button of the switch and it turns it and spins and lets you know what dice you rolled. Another use for switches, um, this is another uh, adaptive toy which is a flappy elephant, a stuffed animal that sings and plays with you. Um, there are two wireless transmitters um, attached to this device. Again, the wireless um, transmitters are very useful to just allow more accessibility. Um, chair users don't have to worry about getting a cord wrapped up um, in their wheels, um, and they can kind of be able to move uh, around with the switches as much as they need to. And if you wanted to put them on a tray or a desk, um, the switches with the wireless transmitters are just a little bit more helpful with that mobility. Um, so these two devices um, this, with the switches, one of them <laughs> allows for the elephant to sing and the other one allows for the elephant to play. So we are going to hit one of the buttons. Hello baby! Peekaboo is most fun with you! Hmm, where'd you go? Peekaboo, I found you! To make it stop, you will just hit the button again, um, and then the other button will allow for the elephant to sing. Hello, baby. Let's sing together. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them on your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears? stop again you will hit the button. So some of the um, pros and cons of the switch adapted toys. Um, some of the toys you do have to hold down the button for longer periods of time so sometimes that can be a challenge um, for people with mobility um, disabilities where they can't hold the button down but they can touch it and tap it but holding it down might be an issue. Um, also, just some of the prep work with the uh, getting the switches to work and making sure that um, the devices are tested and that they're connected um, together with the wireless transmitters, you do have to do a couple of troubleshooting um, things to make sure that the devices are working and the transmitters are going to the correct switch button. Um, 
also just as far as the dinosaur uh, filling up the bubbles so it comes with a little um, bubble solution here and it has a top um, that is easy to squirt this into the hole here in the back um, you will have to refill this uh, with other bubble solutions so um, that may become a little bit of uh, a hassle but it, it should be pretty straightforward to do um, but that's just an, an extra step with these type of devices and toys um, that have that require bubbles some of the great things about the switch adapted toys is that if they have issues with holding and grasping things um, but they still would like to interact with plush animals and so having to squeeze down and push down if they have issues doing that then being able to tap a button to still interact with the toy um, can just allow your child to be able to play um, however they want to or whatever works for them so another um, thing to think about when you are thinking about toys and play um, you would have to purchase the switches you have to purchase the um, wireless transmitter and then and also the toy itself so sometimes with the adaptive um, toys and switches um, some parents may um, find trouble with funding those resources so it's a great idea to come in and see Michigan assistive technology program and see what type of devices your child would like to interact with what type of switches work for them um, before making those purchases Thank you for watching this video about switch devices and adapted toys and play. Um, if you would like to try out any of these switches or adaptive toys, um, please make sure to contact the Michigan Assistive Technology Program.